Okay, so I want to show how to make icons on a Mac. People always ask me when they see my personal computer how I got custom icons, um, like this Safari icon, and um, this is an iTunes alarm clock icon, and a couple other ones like um, this folder icon. And it's really easy, especially if you um, have any skills with Photoshop. I mean, I, I use Photoshop, and I don't really know any other way to do it, but I'm sure you could figure it out um, using these instructions and using another program. So you're going to need Photoshop um, and this website which is called iConvertIcons.com and through iConvertIcons you upload a file and then it gives you a usable icon file. So um, first thing you're going to do is usually I start mine out with just like a Google search um, looking for anything uh, let's say we want an elephant icon right and you can really use any image. Um, this is a good one for an icon. So I'll take this and I'll put it in Photoshop. Photoshop. So now that you've got this image in, in Photoshop, if you go to the, um, I already have it up here, but if you go to the frequently asked questions on iConvertIcons.com, you'll see the limitations and uh, 512 by 512 is the largest Macintosh icon that you can use. That's just basically so that if you make your icons on your desktop very large, they're still in scale. So they're going to um, see what the image size of this is. Yeah, so it's 579 by 377 pixels. And we want a square 512 by 512 just to make things easier. So. Uh, what I'll do is I'll make a new image five twelve by five twelve keep the resolution at seventy two okay and this is in photoshop c s five but it would be very similar in other photoshop programs. drag this image onto there okay. now this is an index image so you have to make sure that you're modes are the same. This was an index image um, and I need an RGB color because this template that I made is RGB. So we're going to drag that in and then make it a little smaller so it fits. Try and make it fill as much as I can. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we don't need this white space on the top and the bottom. You want the icon to be tight so make a box around it with the marquee and then crop it and then what you're going to want to do is if you want transparency in your icon you need to create transparency in the background so we're going to delete the background layer and then we're going to go to our other layer and since this is a nice crisp image it'll be very easy to delete the white spaces around the elephant So now you've got your elephant. Um, I mean, you could color it in. I'm going to not color it in. So this is the important part, is saving it so that it will actually be transparent when you bring it to iConvertIcons.com. Um, if you look at their supported file format, they take a lot. They take JPEG, but JPEG won't have the transparency in it, and that's no good if you want a transparent icon, which most of them have a transparency around them at some point. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, Save for Web and Devices, and then in Save, and Web and Save for Web and Devices, uh, you're going to want a PNG and Transparency. 100%, everything is fine. You click Save, click Images Only, and save it to your desktop. Desktop, Elephant, PNG. Now you go to this website, iConvertIcons.com, click Browse, find your image, click Convert. and there's your icon right there. So you're going to want to download the icon by clicking this link. It'll download. There it is. And the way to change icons on the Mac, the easiest way, well actually this way, yeah. I downloaded the wrong file format. 
I sometimes have problems with this. Instead of downloading the .icns file, you download the hqx file. And what that is is a zip file, and inside of it is, uh, is you know, the image that you made. And the important thing is, is that this small image right up here is the image that you had. Because the way that I change icons on the Mac, I know there are other ways, is you select this and you click copy or command C, and then you go to something else. Uh, for instance, I'll go to this folder called stuff. And you click get info. Oops, I think I may have lost my window. So you'll go to your desktop, like I was saying before I lost my capture, and you'll click on a, a folder. This one example called stuff. You click get info, and you click on the folder, and then you click paste. And you know, again, edit paste. So you copied the, the icon from here, edit copy, and then you click on where the folder was on here and you click edit paste. And now if you go back to your desktop, you'll see that you have your nice new icon. Oops. You have your nice new icon for the stuff folder. And it's this elephant. And that's about it. So it's very quick, it's very easy. You can make custom icons, whatever you want. Find an image on the internet, make an image yourself, edit an icon that's already been made. Um, best way to do that, I've noticed, is to do a get info on the thing and then screenshot it. Um, so, for instance, if you wanted to change the icon of, say, this computer, you click get info, and you notice the large, you'll notice the large icon right here once you get info on something. And using a command to screenshot, which you can look up. Um, you can screenshot this image and then edit it in Photoshop and go from there. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you can make icons with it. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Thanks.